I'm standing here between the current Fiat 500 and the all new Fiat 500. The new Fiat 500 looks slightly bigger than the previous model, yet despite all its awesome new design features, it manages to retain its unmistakable, iconic 500 look. Starting at the front of the vehicle, you'll notice that the Fiat logo has been replaced by this beautifully designed Fiat 500 badge. Moving round to the headlights, they sit both below and above the bonnet line, which is a beautiful design feature. This particular model has had the 17 inch wheels. That's a first for the 500. Also you'll notice from front to back of the vehicle is this chrome strip. This continues down into this lovely little badge that says 500. And that's something I wanna talk about next. So here we are at the rear of the all new Fiat 500. The design does not stop here. The new shaped rear end of the vehicle looks stronger, looks bulbous. These new rear lights, and I can almost see another E shape hidden in there. Moving across to the 500 badge on the rear of the vehicle, there's an also another E. And that may be partly because there's something that the new Fiat 500 is missing and that's an exhaust. That's because the all new Fiat 500 is 100% electric. Okay, so how easy is it to charge your all new Fiat 500? Simply insert one end of the charging cable into the vehicle, like so, and the other end into a three pin plug, either at home or at work or wherever you may be. The first thing you'll notice about this particular Fiat 500 is that it's left-hand drive. But please don't worry. That's because this vehicle was brought in from Turin, where the new Fiat 500 is built, to give to the UK press, who have been raving about it since it's been here. This particular model has had fitted the new 10-inch infotainment system. You can control navigation, phone, heating, and lots, lots more. If we move down, we've got the actual heating controls here, just underneath this, we've got the wireless charging, and this is where we control the automatic. The gearbox is either park, reverse, neutral, or drive. Let's just watch when I press reverse. This shows the reversing camera of the vehicle. As you can see on the display, on the left hand side it's showing we've got 100% charge in our battery. We've got the speedometer showing our charge and power also. Moving down, storage has been increased. More storage in the armrest, plus a little cheeky cup holder. As I've said before, the all new Fiat 500 is made in Turin, Italy. Now there's a nice reminder of that as you exit the vehicle in the door handle. It says, made in Turin, with a nice little picture of the original Fiat 500. Just next to that is a button. That button is what you press to exit the vehicle. Nice feature. The new Fiat 500 is available in nine exterior colors. The color of the exterior can also be echoed in the color of the dashboard. Depending on the model, there are also four different types of interior. The seat fabric within the new Fiat 500, as this is an environmentally friendly vehicle, is made from more than 20% recycled plastics that are found in the sea. The all new Fiat 500 will be available from launch as a three-door hatchback and convertible. There will be two battery options available. One being the city range for those that stay around town with 115 mile range. And then you've got the longer range, which is up to 199 miles on a full charge for those that like to go out out. Thanks for watching this Glyn Hopkin exclusive preview of the all new 100% electric Fiat 500.